my name is Sue Morris. I'm a clinical educator at the New Brunswick Heart Center and I'm going to give you a quick review of how to determine whether a rhythm is regular or irregular. So we're going to start with the bottom rhythm strip and when I look at this rhythm strip it looks as though it's quite regular. So I am going to take a plain piece of white paper and I am going to put a mark on the paper where my first QRS is and that same mark for my next QRS. And then I am going to walk it across the page and I'm going to see if my QRSs line up. And as you can see, as I move across the page, my rhythm is very regular so my two marks are lining up very nicely and so this tells me the rhythm is regular if i did the same thing with my p waves i would also see that those are very regular and so to determine my rate when my patient has a regular rhythm, I could A, look at the monitor, but if my monitor wasn't giving me a readout, I can count the number of boxes in between two QRSs. And when I count these, I get 16 little boxes. I take that number, 16, and I divide it into 1,500. And that's because there are 1,500 little boxes in one minute. And when I do that, I get a rate of 94. My atrial rate will be the same because there are the same number of P's as there are QRS's. And there is a P before every QRS. So I'm gonna say this is a regular atrial rate and a regular, uh, sorry, rhythm and a regular ventricular rhythm. When we move our attention to this rhythm strip on top of the page, when you first take a look at the rhythm strip, you can notice that there are some pauses and that tells you that it is irregular. But let's take our piece of paper again. We're going to mark where our first QRS is and our second one. And we are gonna slide it along and we're gonna say, oh, well, our third QRS and our second QRS line up. Those are regular. The next bead is regular. But this is when we start to see the irregularity. You can see this print out here or the pen mark here, but you can see that this beat here came in early. It's a premature beat. And as we move along, you can see that there is irregularity within the rhythm strip. So if I wanted to determine the rate of this rhythm strip, each of the strips in our practice book and our practice uh, PowerPoint are six second strips. And so I count the number of QRSs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I multiply nine by 10 and I get a rate of plus or minus 90. My atrial rate will also be plus or minus 90. My rhythm will be irregular. By putting the plus or minus, that tells the interpreter that the rhythm is irregular. 